Hi guys, I have a ladder here and today I'm going to talk about ladder safety. This isn't a ladder, this is more like a step stool because it's so short. I really don't know what it's called, but ladder slash step stool. There we go. And so what I'm going to get down today using this um, tool is I'm going to get this fire alarm down. This fire alarm has been chirping and so has my other one. I have two fire alarms actually. And so we're going to get this. Did you hear that? It just chirped. Okay. So I'm adjusting this so that it's straight over the item that I am going to reach for. And I am also going to use my hands on the side of the wall if I need, because the worst thing you can do is fall on one of these things. Falling anywhere is not good. So if you have issues with falling, try to correct that as much as possible because that's how people get hurt and they regret that they got hurt and they are upset that they got hurt. So we have to prevent it by practicing safety. So when you get on your step stool, definitely hold on to a wall if one's near. If not, practice your balance. Okay, so you're gonna step up to the highest step that you need to reach the object that you're reaching for. And I'm step, I just stepped up one spot, one step on this step stool slash ladder. Okay, and I'm also, you can see I'm helping myself stay in position by holding onto the wall. And there I can see is the fire alarm that needs to come down and get a new battery, okay? So, here I go. But I'm gonna have to, oh, did you hear it chirping at me? Okay, now I'm gonna reach it. Guess what? I can barely, so I'm gonna step up one more time. You need to pay attention to your footing whether you're stepping on a step stool or just walking down the street. That's how people fall is by not paying attention to their footing. So step up. One more, one more step on the step stool and hopefully you can reach it this time. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to reach it this time. There it goes chirping again. So yes, I can reach it. So I'm gonna twist it. Okay, I twisted it to the right. So when I put it back on, I'm probably gonna to have to twist it to the left. And then I have my object in my hand. Now this object that I stepped up on the step stool slash ladder to get, I am going to try to hold on to this object as I come down. But if at any point I feel like I'm gonna fall, I should let go of this object because this object is not as important as I am. And so with you guys too, whatever object is in your hand is not as important as you are. So if you start to fall, save yourself and knock the object, okay? Let the object fall and save yourself. So here we go, we're gonna try to step down and we have to pay attention to our footing. Okay, that was one step. And the last step. I made it. <laughs> so practice uh, safely keeping notice of your steps everywhere you go where your foot, foot placement is because you could avoid falling. And especially if you're up on a ladder or if you're in a high place, Falling can be fatal, and guess what? Falling can even be fatal if you're just standing up and you're not up high. You're just standing. It can even be fatal from just standing. So you don't want that situation. So practice safety and always pay attention to your foot placement. 
when you're walking, when you're moving your feet. That's where your stability lies, is in the placement of your feet. So, and being careful with balance as well. If you have poor balance, you need to improve it. If you have any questions, you can email me at tanyadillardthequeen at gmail.com. That's T-A-N-Y-A-D-I-L-L-A-R-D, the queen at gmail.com. Please let your questions be related to life skills and living independently. And if you send me a question, I will make a video over your question. And if you have any comments, you're welcome to comment. You're welcome to hit like. You're welcome to share. And you're welcome to subscribe. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.